Hello, my friends. Welcome back to our channel. Yesterday we discussed a topic where a few simple gears are connected in a chain. We found that the relationship between the numbers of revolutions of the first and the last gears only depends on their numbers of teeth and has nothing to do with the numbers of teeth of the intermediate transmission gears. So it's no different than removing those intermediate transmission gears and connecting the first and last gears directly together. So, how can enable those intermediate transmission gears to have a greater impact on the rotation speed? Today, we complement this story with the following question. We are still considering two such gears, which have 24 and 10 teeth, respectively. This time, we use a fixed axis compound gear to connect them. A fixed axis compound gear is just a few simple gears fixed together that rotate around a common axis. In our case, this compound gear has two stages, which have 32 and 12 teeth, respectively. In this case, when the first gear makes five revolutions, how many revolutions does the second gear make? Why not give a try, and we will come back soon. The key to solving this problem is undoubtedly to understand the nature of the intermediate compound gear. We can still regard it as two gears one with 32 teeth, and the other with 12. But different from the previous situation, here, within a fixed period of time, the two gears no longer turn the same number of teeth, rather turn the same angle, or in other words, they make the same revolutions. As long as this is understood, the problem will be solved easily. Let's first take a look at the first two gears. Their numbers of teeth are 24 and 12, meaning that, when the first gear makes 12 revolutions, the second gear makes 24, which is twice of the previous one. Let's then look at the last two gears. The numbers of teeth are 32 and 10, meaning that, when the former makes 10 revolutions, the latter makes 32. As we've emphasized before, the compound gear should make the same number of revolutions. So when the second gear has made 10, the first gear has made half of it which is 5 revolutions. So the answer is that, when the first simple gear makes 5 revolutions, the second simple gear makes 32. Ok, let's rotate them and check it again. Ready? Go! Sure. 32 revolutions. This fixed axis compound gear can make that gear turn really faster. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.